And turning to weather, storm will be moving in tonight. Yeah, we have a storm coming in, and it's not going to be one of those deals where the whole state sees it, but at least parts of the state will, and that keeps us in the pattern, and that is good news as we continue to uh, try to add to some of that snowfall across, especially the northern part of the state. Sandia Peak, over the last three hours, a few clouds streaming through the sky across Albuquerque, and as we approach sunset, we actually clear out some of that cloud cover and a little bit of a break right now, but the clouds will be building back in once again through the overnight hours as our storm system approaches. And eventually the snow will start to develop across the four corners and into the northern mountains as well. Winter weather advisories up for the New Mexico San Juans as well as the Colorado San Juans. These are the areas that are going to pick up the most snowfall. And the west facing slopes, even in the Jemez and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, we'll be looking at a little bit of snowfall as well. In these winter weather advisories, we're looking at around one to three inches of snow at the lower elevations while above 8,500 feet, we will be looking up to maybe six inches of snowfall. So it's not the biggest storm ever, but it will bring some more fresh powder to the northern high terrain. 40 degrees, the current temperature of south-southeast wind at five miles per hour. We are looking at temperatures already dropping into the teens for Alamosa and Taos. 32 for both Los Alamos and Santa Fe. 40 degrees in Grants, 41 in Gallup. It is a very chilly afternoon and evening as you move down to the south and east. We're at 36 for Roswell and Hobbs, 38 in Carlsbad. Still looking at the 40s down in the southwest. 47 in TRC and 48 in Deming. Clouds continuing to stream across the state. We're getting a little bit of a break in portions of the central and western parts of the state, but you can see the snowfall now starting to push into Arizona, and we will continue to watch snowfall move into our direction. The storm system itself still located over Nevada and Utah. A lot of the scattered snow showers associated with the first part of the storm will be moving in overnight, and then there's a second piece behind this that's going to move across the state throughout the daytime hours tomorrow. So it's kind of a one-two punch. Neither one really all that strong, but it will help bring some of that snowfall to the north. Breaking it down for you, we will look for that snow to develop over the four corners through the overnight hours. Otherwise, just a cold night with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, the first part of the storm exits. The second part comes in and we'll be looking for snow across the northern mountains into the four corners and maybe even the far northern reaches of the Gila. And then by Friday, that storm system completely clears out. We'll look for clearing skies and it will be rather cold, not only for tomorrow, but also for Friday before we start to build in high pressure over the weekend. That's going to help warm our temperatures back up. But even though we warm up over the weekend, temperatures still stay below average for this time of the year. So we continue with the cold weather and then another storm system moves into our direction for the beginning of next week. And this this one looks like it may drop a little bit further to the south and be more impactful for much more of the state. Super storm track showing that snow developing through the overnight hours across the four corners. We'll be looking at snow across the west facing slopes in particular tomorrow morning. We'll continue to see that snow developing over the Gila through tomorrow afternoon. And then by Friday, we start to clear things out and we look at a fairly quiet weekend before our next storm. Over in southern Colorado, temperatures here will be into the 20s, mostly cloudy skies, snow throughout the day. We'll hold on to that early Friday before a break over the weekend, and then another storm for early next week. Over the northwest, partly cloudy with some scattered snow around. Highs will be in the 30s. We'll be looking for a break over the weekend before snow once again for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Over the southwest, mix of sun and clouds, scattered snow, especially over the Gila. Highs into the 40s and 50s. We'll be back down into the 30s for Friday with a break over the weekend, and then more snow for the beginning of next week. Over the southeast, we won't be looking for any snow with this storm for tomorrow, but we will have better chances early next week of picking up a couple of rain showers Tuesday into Wednesday. Over the northeast, we're looking for a mix of sun and clouds, and we could get a couple of quick showers, but we'll stay mainly dry with this storm. We'll look for better chances Tuesday and Wednesday of next week with our next storm over the northern mountains, mostly cloudy with scattered snow, highs in the 20s and 30s. Another snow shot for early next week over the East Mountains. Mixed sun and clouds could get a little bit of snow, but significant accumulation is not expected. The metro could get a couple of spot showers throughout the afternoon, and then we get a break over the weekend, and then we bring in the new year with another storm, another chance of showers. All right, thank you, John. Sports is next.